Welcome to the jungle. TV's most outrageous singing show is back. But this time with one big twist. Four jungle superstars are going down under the mask. Koala, Witchetty Crook, Cockroach, and Kangaroo. Tonight, all four will be unmarked. Only one can be crowned king or queen of the masked jungle. This is the Masked Singer. Who are you? I'm a celebrity special. Gentlemen, please welcome your host, Joel Domit. Love that. Wow, juggler, massive. Good day, everybody. I'm Joel Domit, and welcome to the Mars Singer. I'm a celebrity special. <laughs> that is right, for one night only, we are going down under because in just 90 minutes, Ant and Deck will be back in the jungle with a brand new series. Tonight's four ex mates will take to the stage in disguise as we try to get them out of here! Uh, boys, wanted to do that. <laughs> By the end of the show, all four jungle jammers will have been unmasked and will crown our masked I'm a celebrity king or queen of the jungle singer. Whew, it's a bit of a mouthful. More of a mouthful than a Bush Tucker trial. And it looks like we've already won some stars. It's our panel, everybody. Yes. I love this. Yeah, do you like what I've done I with the place? I love it. Whoop. Oh, yeah. Wait, you look like you're part of the furniture. I know. <laughs> look, I'm just like a floating head. Where wow. is he? Who said that? Where is he? Who said that? Who said that? John, Completely camouflaged. Should someone say something? <laughs> <laughs> it's me, it's me. But can I also say, like, my brain is just going... Yeah. yeah. Because how many names can we get through tonight? Yes. I mean, there's so many people over the 20 years. Of, it must be hundreds. I'm a celeb. Yeah. It's like, I don't even know what is going to happen tonight, honestly. I love the fact you said you don't really know what's going to happen tonight, because even when we do the regular show, let's oh, face it, you don't really know what's going on. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't, I don't. Uh, Mo, how do you think you do in a Bush Tucker trial? Me, in a Bush Tucker yeah. trial? Do you think I could be sitting there eating kangaroo... Um, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. It's not as bad as you think, actually. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I had uh, goat's penis. <laughs> no, John! Well, just, that no. was this morning for breakfast, That was this it? morning yeah. for breakfast. Oh. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, Joel, let's oh, you are now. Okay. okay, get ready to rumble in the jungle. Good luck, it's our panel, everybody. <laughs> Tonight, 
four masked critters will battle it out in two head-to-heads, and the characters with the fewest votes will be unmasked immediately. The winners will then sing again for Jungle Glory. Are you ready to play along at home? Time to get those spidey senses tingling. It's our first face-off, and it's Witchity Grub versus Koala. The invertebrate I'd hate on my plate, mate. <laughs> it's Witchity Grub. I love this dog too. Yeah. I love that. They made tonight's costume with their bare hands. It's Koala. This hug is going on way longer than I anticipated. Oh, God, it's so heavy. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. Whew, oh. that was great. Hi. Unbelievable. Remember, there are clues everywhere, and the biggest clue of all, our mass singers have all been campmates in the I'm a Celebrity jungle. And pay close attention to tonight's clue packages, parts of which feature stunt doubles, or, as they call them in Oz, stunny dubbos. <laughs> <laughs> First up, except no grubstitute, it's Witchity Grub. Okay. Okay, here we go. Chomp, chomp, it's me, Witchity Grub, everyone's favorite jungle tree. Is it a man or a woman? Definitely a woman. Strictly speaking, I am tasty. Strictly? Just ask all the admirers who fancied this little snack. I've an eye for the talent myself. <laughs> I don't know if that accent's real, though. Cutting carrots, carrots, celery. Food. A chef. Campmates might come and go, but you'll always find me here. Coach. Life coach. History will tell you. You'll win if you use words and numbers with me. Oh, that is a sailor's hat. The Navy. The real trial will be working out who I am. It's a real conundrum. Conundrum. That's countdown. Tonight, I'm serving up a real treat for y'all. Grubs up. Me in bed. Oh, I love this song. Oh, yeah, Harley, come on. You done me wrong. Your time is up. You took a sip from the devil's cup. You broke my heart. There's no way back. Move right out of here, baby. Go and pack your bag. Just knew who you think you are Stop acting like some kind of star Just who do you think you are Take it like a man, baby, if that's what you got Witchity Grub, I love that. That was so good. Oh, right, Jonathan. Witchy, we all enjoyed that. It was a great start to the show. You can sing, you can dance, you're great fun. <laughs> big pants must be a clue. And are they up there because you wear big pants or are they up there because you're doing your laundry? Because Kim Woodburn was in the jungle and she's famous for cleaning. 
We thought even. Gosh, I think I know your voice. Your voice sounds so familiar. It's yeah. like super husky. It's very natural to my ears. I'm like, who are you? What do you do? They're in the VT. <laughs> when you said conundrum, I thought Carol Vorderman. Conundrum, Carol Vorderman there. Davida, what are you thinking? They said Strictly Speaking. Yeah. Oh. So is it someone that was on yes. Strictly? Somebody like Lisa Snowden? Because they talked about judging, and she was on Britain's Next Top Model. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, but Lisa Snowden. Lisa yeah. Snowden's a good guess. Mm. I like that. Yeah. Mo Gilligan. I know who that is. Mo, you but always do this, and you just never tell us know who they are. But I, I really <laughs> like... Just tell I, us. OK, so I've seen that Pants was a clue, because it's an ex, so it's maybe someone that left, because none of them have an ex on there. And the way that they're moving, I think that's Gemma Collins. Woo! Oh! oh. The I GC! Think I think that is Gemma oh. Collins. Oh! Oh! What's oh. that? I'm going to go get the phone. Yeah, get the phone. Hello? G'day, mate. It's Bush Baby. In a bit, I'll be reading out two statements. One of them is a clue to help you solve who is under the mask. Suss out the correct statement and you win a star for Kemp. Is it A, grubs up but time is of the essence? Or B, wanna go get romantic? Witchity grubs of a perfect aphrodisiac. OK, so we've got two clues. Which one do you think is true? I think B, because there was a love heart on a, on a pebble. You're going to go for B, B aphrodisiac. Yeah. B, 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 B aphrodisiac. B. Does everyone agree? Yeah, B, aphrodisiac. Yeah, B. Yeah. B. Yeah. What do you think? B, B. aphrodisiac. Bunza, mate. That's correct. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. I've got a star. Yeah. I've, got a little, I've got a little pouch. OK. There's a camp mate behind the mask, but Witchity is it. We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Give it up for Witchity Grub. Oh, I love, I love this show. I love it. Have the panel mag got it right? Or are they sluggish in their thinking? Who do you think's behind the mask? What a tasty performance. I hope I grub up all the votes and munch my way to the final. After the Dunny break, it's Koala, and we have our first audience vote in a while, Crocodile. We blended together two bonza shows to bring you the ultimate TV mashup. Fingers crossed for loose women on ice. <laughs> <laughs> Up next up, it's Koala! <laughs> Hello, it's me, Koala. I was not expecting that. Definitely a guy. Koala starts with a K. Do you know what else starts with a K? Kylie! Do you like my dress? I wore it especially for you. People tell me I look very, very pretty. A sheriff? Maybe someone who's in charge of something. Ballet, darling, is a share. And I rose to fame on a reality show. It's also a real sport. You have to train with frequency. X Factor. If you want to take part in the national championships, like me. In terms of drug action, I'm up there with the best of them. Let's go direction. Maybe he's a driver. I'm going to try my very best in this competition. Three baby cars, maybe three kids. I have to pace myself. And remember, it's a ballet. Not a very, very long run. Tonight, I hope you believe me when I say I'll be showing off my top quality vocal. And live while we young.
I just felt like I was on the weirdest hen do ever. <laughs> Kowalung is living his best life right now on that stage. <laughs> your height is throwing me off. Yeah. I'm like, you're really tall. <laughs> it's somebody I thought maybe who's really good with their body. I know he trains on his Instagram, did Dancing on Ice. Jake Quickendom. Yeah. yeah. No, this isn't any koala. This is a koala who's had a makeover. This guy was part of a show called 60 Minute Makeover. Nick knows. That's what I think. Nick knows. Oh, Nick is tall. I think the ballet outfit might be a clue because we have had some dance in the jungle. Jordan Banjo was in the jungle later, oh. and he is about yeah. that tall. <laughs> but my guess will be from the world of politics. I think it's Christine Hamilton. <laughs> what? She's in the jungle, she's about that tall. Christine, come back. Come back, Christine. Davina, <laughs> who do you think it is? I heard K for Kylie, so who am I thinking? Jason. He was in the jungle, yeah. Three baby koalas. Jason Donovan has got three children. <laughs> uh, it's a phone! Hello? Today, mate, same as before, it's up to you lot to decide which statement is a clue. Here okay. we go. Okay. Is it A, in a recent survey, most Australians think travelling by bus is a real drag? Or B, according to science, koalas are so cute they make your heart race? I think it's A. Yeah? Because Jason was in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Ooh. And they travelled in a, a big bus, so yep. travelling by bus would make the clue work. So, yeah, I think you're right. I think it's yeah. A. Yeah. 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 You're going to go there? We'll go with A, please. Ah, oh, that's wrong, you dingo. Oh, no! So maybe this person's like a heart throb or something. Are oh, you koala fine to guess who it is? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Give it up for koala, everyone. Oh, that koala. So good. Have the panel got their bearings with their koala guesses? Who do you think is behind the mask? It really is a jungle out there tonight. I had everyone up on their feet and boogieing along with me. Koala is in the competition. So, studio audience, who do you want to sing again? A witchetty grub or koala? The winner will stay in the competition and the other will be unmasked immediately oh. please welcome back witchetty grub and koala <laughs> Studio 
audience, remember you are voting for your favorite masked singer. Vote now. The results are in. I can reveal the masked singer with the most votes and keeping their mask firmly on is... You will be unmasked right after the break. Oh. Cheerio for now. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to Masked Singer. I'm a celebrity special. Before the break, our studio audience voted Koala the winner of our first face-off, meaning it's time for Witchetty Grub's true identity to be revealed. <gasps> but first, panel, who do you think it is? We're going to start with you, Jonathan. I'm now thinking it's someone who found love in the jungle. I think it might be Katie Price. Oh. oh. <laughs> Rita, who do you think it is? I am going to stick with Carol Vorderman. Carol Vorderman. Davina. I mean, love hearts, everybody loves Lisa Snowden. Okay. Mo Gilligan. Gemma Collins. We're Gemma Collins. Okay, now well, let's see if any of you are right. Who's behind the mask? Take, take it, it off, take 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 it <laughs> yeah! So good! We oh should have got God. you. Reality TV show done! <laughs> it makes sense because you were in Celebrity MasterChef, weren't you? And that's the chopping ball. Exactly. That's and she was. was a coach on Celebrity Coach Trip. Exactly. Oh, well, not a coach. Not. I wasn't the coach. No. <laughs> you were the exactly. coach. I was just on Celebrity Coach <laughs> Trip. It's been a long day. <laughs> She'd be like, get in the back. <laughs> Not many people notice that I was in I'm a celeb because I went in halfway through, so yeah. people forget that I was actually on the show. Oh you can God. sing. She can really sing, can't yeah. you? That, that was, was really good. Honestly. A million percent, I'm not a singer. Do you know, know what I mean? Well, I've been you with you before. You've just sung for no reason. Do <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? The hardest thing for me has been not being able to laugh. Yeah, because you yes. have a very distinctive laugh. <laughs> Did you choose to be a witchetty grub? Um, no, this <laughs> witchetty grub chose me. Yeah. Oh, baby love. Give it up for Alison Hyber. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Singing one last time. Oh, yeah. Unmasked at last. Alison Hammond, everybody. Sing it, Alison. You done me wrong. Yes, Alison. Your time is up. Woo. I took a sip from the devil.
Who will be next? It's time for our second head-to-head. -head. It's Cockroach versus Kangaroo. Okay. <laughs> They're simply the pest. It's Cockroach. Everybody raise the roof. It's Kangaroo! Yay! Yay! Yes, Kangaroo. Right there. Hop onto the spot. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. First up, they've been working hard with their vocal roach. It's cockroach, Yay! everybody. I'm not believing this accent. Australian, no. They call me Gladiator. The only thing I fear is a very large boat. Here's a boot of like leaving, getting kicked off of something. Imperial Palace. Somebody's done the Royal Variety performance. As a warrior, you'll often find me in the arenas, mate, for great battles. I'm such a natural conqueror. I've even beaten myself. <laughs> He's definitely strong. I've been compared to one of the world's greatest sporting legends. There's a lot of sporting clues. I think he is a sports person, you know. I think it might not be. Tonight, this tonight, he's gonna terminate the competition. <laughs> Wow. Of a far off place where heroes welcome <gasps> will be waiting for me. That's a singer. Where the crowds will cheer when they see my face and a voice keeps saying, This is. Who are you saying? You said often find me in arenas made for great battles. So then I thought maybe it's somebody that's sung in an arena. But the one that really confused me was when it said I've beaten myself. And then I heard your voice. This person was very, very strong and brave. And you are a Roman gladiator there. And this guy overcame a brain tumor. 
and I think it's Russell Watson. Oh, yeah. Good job. Good job. Wow. Mo Gilligan. That was absolutely breathtaking. Yeah. I bet, like, that was so good. But I think the clue could be looking at me in my face. You're a Roman soldier. And someone that was on I'm a Celeb was Roman Kemp. But that's absolutely fantastic. I love that. that yeah. What are you thinking, Rita? The voice for me completely threw me off. I did not expect you to sing like that. But then again, the rugby thing really took me. Could it be James Haskell? Okay. Yeah. I know exactly who this is. Who is it, Jonathan Ross? I'll tell you who it is, because I've heard this person sing. The clue was, did you see they lift yourself up and there were nuts and bolts there? Mm. What do you use to knock down a nut and bolt sometimes? Hammer. 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 What's another word for hammer? A mallet. Yes, it's Timmy Mallet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> we got that together, Mo. You can have half of that. I thought we'd have that one. You're on your yes, own. Yes, it is. On the phone. Time for another clue. Ah. Hello? G'day, mate. Here's the clues. Is it A? Cockroach sightings are so popular down under, you'll often hear local scream. I want one more. Or B, did you know cockroaches are mysteriously tasty treats? You can purchase them in a six-pack. OK. It's got to be B, it's come on. Be B. Peter Andre sang yeah. Mysterious Girl. He was famous for his six-pack. It's got to be Peter Andre. It's got yeah, to be B. Must, yeah. Gonna go for B? We'll go B, please. Wrong. Oh! oh. I told you it was A. Jonathan! Why do we listen to Jonathan? Give it up for Cockroach, everybody. <laughs> well done, Cockroach. Are the panel's guesses an antenna out of ten, or has Cockroach left them shell-shocked? Can you smell that? It's the sweet smell of victory! Oh, wait. <laughs> it might actually just be me. Oh. Like my favourite item of knitwear, they're a great big jumper. It's kangaroo. This is like old school. Do's and do that. What's up, y'all? It's me, Kaylee. Works out. They might have a fitness DVD. A move that I do, that is a clue. I'm the room that each thing I do becomes the thing I'm known for. Gotta change career. Not only do I have talent, but I can spot talent. Talent Britain's got talent. Dancing on ice. That's not just me saying so. Although you may know me for presenting my opinion from time to time. Okay, maybe she's a judge. That's the reality of things. I'm like a boomerang. Bell must mean something, because the weight she was in was a kettle bell. And that's a bell. Whoever this is, they are really cool. It could be theatre, red curtain. Tonight, let's hop to it. Body moving, we be body moving. Oh, yeah.
It's working. It was great performance. It was a lot of fun. And you can so sing. Kangaroo can really sing. You've got loads of energy. Who was everything I do, I get kind of known for. So it's someone who's changed their career. I think she was on Gogglebox. She became a TV presenter. I think it's Scarlett Moffat. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Rita, what are you thinking? Your voice to me does sound like a singer. And I saw the red curtain hits on the mm. vinyl. This person started off in the West End. She was also on Dancing on Ice as a judge. And um, the cat collar thing really got me. One of her first West End shows was Cats. <gasps> so I'm going to go with Ruthie Henshaw. Oh, that's Ooh. a great Ooh. one. Ooh. Yes. And that yeah. would make sense because it's Ruthie Henshaw. Oh, Ru it's bad. A bit of a call. What are you thinking? Kangaroo. Quite confused by you. I saw the idea that you're a spotter of talent, so I thought maybe a judge on Strictly and the youth and vitality, this could all be trying to steer us away from the age of this woman because Arlene Phillips, she's been a choreographer, she's been a dancer, she's been a judge, yeah. and I think it might be her. Mo, what are you thinking? So, when I looked at some of the clues, I seen spot talent, someone who's been on a talent show, and you said, Jonathan, celebrity goggle box. And this person's on there, I'm gonna say Stacey Solomon. Oh, yeah. Stacey Solomon's a good shout. <laughs> I've just got your whiskers in my mouth. There's another clue. Answer the phone. OK, clue. Hello, John. Always speaking. Good day, mate. Here are the clues. Is it A, did you know kangaroo is bushwang for nuclear feline? Or B, the key to success is simple. Just follow the yellow brick road. Okay. West End. Should we go B then? Yes, yes. B. Okay, B. Go B? Yeah. B, please. Correct. Yes. Yay! Come on. Okay, West End. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Little star. I feel like I haven't put a star in my pouch for absolutely ages. Okay. We'll only find out Roo's inside when the mask comes off. Give it up for Kangaroo, everybody. Yay! Right, kangaroo. Have the panel figured out, Kanga, who it is, or are they jumping to the wrong conclusions? I got a real kick out of that performance, and the panel haven't got a rule who I am. So, studio audience, who do you want to see sing again, Cockroach or Kangaroo? The winner will remain in the competition, and the other will find themselves unmasked immediately. Ooh. Please welcome back Cockroach and Kangaroo. Right there, Cockroach. Right there, Kangaroo. Studio audience, you are voting for your favourite masked singer. Vote now. The results are in. Oh. I can tell you there is only eight votes between them. Oh, wow. The Masked Singer with the most votes and keeping their mask firmly on for now is... <laughs> Kangaroo! You will be unmasked right after the break. Oh. Don't go anywhere. Oh. Welcome back to The Masked Singer. I'm a celebrity special. 
the show that's turned us all into investigators. Because of, we're, you know, in the jungle. <laughs> Before the break, our studio audience voted Kangaroo the winner of our second face-off, meaning that in just a moment, Cockroach will be unmasked. But first, panel, who do you think is behind the helmet? I'm going to come to you first, Mo. I think it's Roman Kemp. How about that? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Davina McCall. I think it's Russell Watson. Russell Watson. Oh. Rita Ora. I'm going to say James Haskell. OK. Jonathan Ross. Well, I said Timmy Mallet earlier. I'm changing my mind. I think it's Peter Andre. Okay. Wow. Well, let's see if any of you are right. Who's behind the mask? Take it off. 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 Who is it? It's the UK's best-selling classical artist, Russell Watson. I love you. Oh, well done, babe. Oh. Oh. You was fantastic, man. Thank you. Well, I never knew you sounded so much like Timmy Mallet until tonight. <laughs> I, I, think it, I think it was the hammer thing that threw you. <laughs> yeah. The vocals were phenomenal, obviously. Thank you. But now I'm thinking the, the royal connection you performed. How many times were the royals? For Her Majesty the Queen, yes, it yes. was double figures. That's insane. Um, wow. Yeah. And rugby then, ball? Um, the Rugby Union World Cup 1999 sung the anthem for that. I was going down sportsman route, but the minute I heard you sing, you have, to me, such a recognisable voice. Thank you. We got stuck a little bit on the nuts and bolts clue. Yeah, believe it or not, I worked in a factory for six years before <laughs> fame hit, so oh, yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah, I was literally singing round the lanes. <laughs> <laughs> have you enjoyed yourself? It's just been fantastic. I've really wow. had a great we time. We love you! It's been so yeah. great, man. Thank you, guys. Honestly, it sounded <laughs> incredible. Everyone we'll give it up Thank for Ross and Watson, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Here we are, cockroach singing unmasked at last. It's Russell Watson! <laughs> I have often dreamed of a far-off place Where a hero's welcome would be waiting for me Down an unknown road to embrace my fate It might take a lifetime Thank you so much. Cheers, guys. Oh, love that. We've unmasked two former campmates and just two remain. It's time for Koala and Kangaroo to go head-to-head -to, -head to decide who will be our first masked singer, king or queen of the jungle. First up, it's Koala. Here for it. Still I am sure that 
that the answers, answers gonna come somehow out there in the Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I love koala. Either koala or kangaroo will be crowned Mars Singer I'm a Celebrity Royalty tonight. Wouldn't it be great, panel, if we had the chance to earn another star for camp? <laughs> yes. Oh, what is this Ooh. over here? <gasps> Joel, to win another star, you must reach into the box to retrieve two luxury item clues, and you won't be alone. This is Hell Hole. <laughs> oh, that was more exciting than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Oh. <laughs> There's noises coming out of it. Do it, do it, do it. What is that? Oh, oh. oh I've got something. I've got something. Oh. Yay! I've got something. Oh, oh, it's some cards. It's like little Polaroids. Yeah. Of koala bears. And Aww. we've got Jenny, Elvis, and Betty. Do you know someone who's got a kid called Elvis? Or they could have, like, pets with those names. Shall I go back in for another clue? Yes, yeah. Please. Here we go. OK, we're going... Oh, got something nice. Feels good. Feel like something being born. Oh, and it's got a star attached. Oh, it is a, like a beanie hat, a wool beanie hat. Yes, Mo. I think that's a clue maybe for kangaroo because yes. I did say Stacey Solomon and I think she was crocheting when she was pregnant. I think that was a thing. This is really tough. It's very, very difficult. Well, don't go anywhere because after the break, we've got even more clues. Oh, I think I need to lie down. Back to the Mars Singer 
Now, I'm a celebrity special where either koala or kangaroo will be crowned our very own king or queen. Very shortly, our studio audience will vote for their favorite character. But first, let's hear from the kings of the jungle themselves, Anton Deck. Morning, detectives. It's nearly 7 a.m. here in Australia, and we're almost ready to go live. Yes, we are. But we have been watching closely, and we've come to our decision, haven't we, Andy? We certainly have. We have, and that mm -hmm. decision is... We've got absolutely no idea who's behind the mask. Not a clue. And talking of clues, Joel, I know you've been winning stars to earn some more of them. Yeah, so, well, fingers crossed they help you crack the case of who is koala and who's kangaroo. Good luck, and we'll see you all in ten minutes, live from Australia, from the brand-new series of I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here! See you shortly. Thanks, guys. I feel more clues coming on. Let's get that furry face back in this place. It's Bush, baby, everybody. Oh, Bush, baby, is back. Thank so you. Joel, all night you have been collecting stars from camp. Now it's time to count out how many you've managed to find. <laughs> OK, let's have a little count. And the stars in my bag. I've got one, two, three, and that's it. Three stars. Yay! That means you've got three extra clues. Oh. Kyle, it's down to you to decide how many stars you want to spend on Koala. Oh. And how many. On kangaroo. Okay. Panel, what are you going to choose? We're closer to getting koala. You too. Or we could use all three on Bush Baby, because I've forgotten who's in that suit. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I'm here. Bush Babies aren't even from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I think we do two on koala, yeah. one on kangaroo. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed? That's, that's yes, yeah. let's okay. do that. Yeah. Let's take a look, please, Bush Baby. Two for koala. Oh, what have we got? <laughs> we've got some sort of budgie smugglers. Wow. And then we've got a full English breakfast. <gasps> full English. Delicious. Um, so he's obviously English. British. So it's someone who's, who's a swimmer or an athlete or has been in a swimming a swimmer. by show, maybe. Mm. Oh, for kangaroo. Oh, the clue is a leaf. Uh, this oh, is the clue. clue. Uh, this is the clue. Uh, that makes sense. Sunita! Why? Yeah, she came out in the judge's house. She's wearing a dress made out of banana leaves. There we go. That's a name we haven't mentioned. That's interesting. That's a really and good guess. That's a good one. guess. Well, oh. thank you, Bush Baby. You, Bush. Hey. Right now, let's prove it's really you, Bush Baby. Everyone, take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Get your job tops on, everyone. I love you, John. Thank you. You're the best. So good to see John Thompson, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> He's so great. Oh, so good. You. Right. It's the moment of Struth. <laughs> Studio audience, it's time for you to vote for your winner. We are moments away from crowning the first ever mass singer. I'm a celebrity special, king or queen. While our studio audience votes, here's a reminder of all of tonight's performances. Could it be magic now? Now, now and hold on fast while I can dream. Please have my dream. The time has come. I can reveal the winner of the Mars Singer I'm a Celebrity Special is...
quite something. This is lovely. Well done. Oh, Kawala, you are a winner. Head off down the tunnel. We'll find out who you really are very soon. Look at the speed. <laughs> okay. Wow. Kangaroo. Give it up for oh, Kangaroo, everybody. Yay! Kangaroo. You came so close. And now it is time for you to reveal your true identity. But first, panel, who do you think is behind the mask? When it comes to you first, Mo. Oh, um, you've been an absolute joy. I think you're oh. Stacey Solomon. Stacey Solomon, okay. Yeah. Davina McCall. I think you are Arlene Phillips. Okay. Rita Ora. I'm going to say Ruthie Henshaw. Okay. And Jonathan Ross. That leaf clue threw me. So your guess of Sunita I thought was good, but I think it still is Scarlett Moffat. Okay. Ooh, who is it? Very different names. Kangaroo, who's behind the mask? Take it up. 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 Who are you? Sunita, hello. Oh, oh wow. my God, you're amazing. <laughs> I said your name. You said my name. But then I didn't say it at the last minute. I mean, the, the banana leaf was honestly just the most, like, obvious yeah. clue yes. of all obvious time. Yeah. And I, spot. that's exactly what I thought of. There was a clue about X Factor as well, which was yeah. the X's. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And that was there when I, you were the judge. I know. And I, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, come on, give me a break. I did say your name. You I did. did. But you talked yourself out of no, it. No, guys, I still think I won. <laughs> because you said it at some point. I'm not sure about that, Rita. Someone here should definitely have got you, because I've just realised what one of the clues was. Because the woolly hat was a clue too. <gasps> yeah. Oh, the yeah. jump, the jump. Hosted and by the Davina ball. McCall, who oh, should have done it. Oh, Davina? Yeah. Oh. What was the date? They gave us a date in 1986, I think. That was, it was on the back of your jacket. Oh, th yeah. this yeah. is when so macho went into so the charts. So macho. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Have you had fun, Sunita? Have you had a lovely time? So much fun. Yes? Yeah. So much fun. Well, you've been absolutely wonderful. Yes. Give it up for Sunita, everybody. Yes. Thank you. Thank Sunita. you so much. Singing Unmasked at last. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sunita. The winner of the Mars Singer I'm a Celebrity Special, and just like a boomerang, we'll be right back. to be unmasked. But first, panel, who do you think is behind Koala's mask? Oh, um, I think it is Nick Knowles. You're going with Nick Knowles. Davina McCall? I had another sudden epiphany <laughs> with Caitlyn Jenner because of the Kylie clue. I'm going to go Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Rita Ora. I'm going to say Jake Quickenden. Jake Quickenden. 
Jonathan Ross. Based on the size, based on the comedy that is given us the personality, and based on the fact that, let's face it, you're what we call an enthusiastic singer. I'm going to say it's Neil Razor Roddick. That's who I think is in there. Neil Razor Roddick. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if any of you are right. Koala, who's behind the mask? Take it off. 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 <laughs> wow. That was so Vernon. good. Your winner, Vernon Kay, everyone. I would never have got Vernon, man. Who knew you couldn't sing? <laughs> everyone knows. Your personality with Koala was the best. As soon as you put the costume on, it's like give, being given a licence to do absolutely yeah. anything. <laughs> but we should have got you, because I know you're a huge Elvis fan. Vernon is the name of Elvis's dad. You were oh, no. What was that? When you did the Elvis, you were doing all the proper moves at the end. Yes. You were totally into it. The K for Kylie. What was that about? Just K? Vernon oh. K? Vernon K, you're there. There were so many clues. We're so stupid. And the breakfast was a big breakfast where I was model of the week. Oh, have you had fun? Oh, I've had the best time ever. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? What's weird is being in this costume all day. I've lost more weight in this <laughs> than I did in, in I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out here in the Castle of Wales. I lost two and a half stone. I think I've lost five stone this today. <laughs> do, do Tess and the kids know? No. They're watching this as we as we're doing this. Oh, right yeah. now. my God, yeah, I like, love yeah, go on, Dad. That's cute. You're the first yeah. person I've ever seen that's dancing, you were interacting with the audience, you looked so comfortable. Yeah. It's because like you didn't I, want to I'm, take I'm, it off. I'm naked underneath. <laughs> so it just <laughs> feels free and <laughs> liberating. Oh, yeah! Well, honestly, everyone give it up for Vernon K, your winner, everybody. You've been so good. Well, there you have it. Four amazing mask singers have been rumbled in the jungle. A huge well done to our amazing celebrities, the panel and the I'm a Celebrity team. Good luck with the series, but now performing one final time, singing Unmasked at last, it's Vernon K.